If I'm not mistaken, there are several kinds of licenses. Actually, there are two kinds of licenses. A conductor's license and a driver's license. To obtain a conductor's license, the applicant must be 18 years old and above, is physically and mentally fit, has no contagious disease, can read and write, must pass the LTO exam, and have no unsettled traffic violations, have attended and passed the LTO road safety seminar, and has no pending criminal case. Ah, so those are the requirements to get a license. I will remember this information. That's right, Johnny. But there is more. If a tourist from another country wants to drive in this country, he will be allowed to use his country's license for only 90 days. After 90 days, they need to use a license from the LTO. Does the LTO only provide one type of license to drivers? No, Johnny. A driver can either get a professional license or a non-professional license, depending on what vehicle the driver will be using. However, before obtaining a professional or non-professional license, the student driver must first pass the exam. Oh, is that so? What is the difference between the two types of licenses? A professional license authorizes a driver to drive both a private and public utility vehicle. Public utility vehicles are vehicles used in public transport, such as jeepneys, taxis, and buses. This also includes hired or paid drivers. Non-professional licenses are only those issued to drivers who drive private vehicles. I have a question for you. If you are applying for a student's permit, can you immediately obtain a professional license? I don't think so. You're right. A driver should get a non-professional license first before applying for a professional driver's license.